Take two. Hello everyone and welcome to the Captain's Video Blog. We are Tuesday, uh, July the 26th, I think, 2016. It's uh, 1.40, yeah, uh, 1.45, haha, <laughs> whoa, playing with the fire here. So I'm bringing you just before Smackdown, um, well, Jesus Christ, out of the seven days between Sunday and uh, Saturday there's going to be a lot of wrestling, like four days out of five. Um, <coughs> se uh, seven. Um, so yeah. Um, uh, fuck. So yeah, a little recap of Raw besides, you know, all the stuff that I've already said yesterday uh, about the Fatal Four Ways and Nia Jax debuting on Raw against uh, a local performer. Uh, like, you know, the same happened with Braun Strowman. He, you know, faced a little dude who had no chin um, and he destroyed him. He debuted a new look and a new music and really, the, it, it really filled out of place. Um, now, I don't hate uh, using local performers to elevate uh, a wrestler per se it's just that they've been doing that in the wrong order um, they've done the same with Enzo and Castle bit before uh, I wouldn't say Battleground but the one that came before so that would be Extreme Rules and it was strange to say the least like you have superstars that are kind of, you know, already there. You know their power, and then you make them destroy someone who's small. You only proved that they're better than this someone who's small, um, and, <coughs> and not that they're better than the opponents that they faced before, which. In the case of Nia Jax, is really belittling because she's faced the likes of Bailey, she lost and she won. Asuka, she lost. Um, so yeah, you you're really you you're not really helping. Um, and for for Braun Strowman, it just like look like looks like oh, it's back to square one, I guess. Um, Jesus Christ, it makes a lot of noise. Um, uh, yeah, so, anyway, uh, Sasha Banks won the Women's Championship, it is so great, like, I, I said that, um, I think that if Charlotte had retained on Raw, uh, she would have surpassed the, the precedent reign, uh, record, whatever, from Nikki Bella, um, but that would be combining her current reign as women's champion and her reign before WrestleMania as Divas champion. Um, so yeah, but she lost and uh, holy shit, everyone should stop diving to the outside. Uh, Sasha Banks did a huge dive and she landed on her face. Then again, Charlotte could be held responsible for not properly catching her, as Sasha would be for not properly catching Charlotte when Charlotte did that fucking moonsault of the top rope right onto the the outside. Um, oh, also, pretty nifty note, um, now the, the announcers aren't uh, ringside anymore, they are at the top of the ramp, like on WCW, and... Uh, I think during the 2002 to 2004 Raw uh, era. Uh, you know, that's kind of strange. That means that we're not getting table spots anymore. But uh, I can live with that. Um, anyway, uh, what other things were there? Oh, they did a fucking stupid angle with uh, the Golden Truth and Pokemon Go where R Truth first found a Jigglypuff under. Bob Backlund's uh, bow, bow tie when he was reconforting, you know, kind of reconforting um, uh, Darren Young. He was pretty much telling him, 
not to lose his focus that he, he would win the title once again and all that but still kind of be you know it's kind of reconforting um, <coughs> I will understand it as such um, so yeah uh, uh, then they d then our truth said that he had graduated from Pokemon College which is really strange because you know when Pokemon came out I think that our truth was pretty old to even you know enjoy the thing uh, and he he mistook the logo of the Pittsburgh Penguins for a Pokemon which is a bit strange you know when you consider that not so long ago our truth in that same arena was waiting in a backstage in a penguin uh, costume um, and then they you know and then it, it paid off during the match between Enzo and Cass and the Shining Stars uh, looked like the Shining Stars were going to have the upper hand again but then R-Truth stepped into the ring you know doing that and trying to catch a Pokemon with his hands what um, and um, just walk uh, walked out of the ring uh, and went cast one <laughs> okay um, you know it's a stupid angle but it paid up so um, I guess that it's not that stupid anymore I mean uh, strange standard uh, Enzo and cast made uh, a, a huge a huge sex joke on live TV in a PG <laughs> program uh, when they said that they liked it raw, uh, referring to the song by OGB. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's getting crap past the radar, uh, really. Um, I'm not sure they would have tried their hand at doing that, you know, only maybe five years ago. Um, so, yeah. Uh, what else was there? I mean, it's really strange to try to recap Raw when you think that I, uh, in the thir in the first hour and a half, there were like three matches, including a a squash, and then there was the angle with the New Day that wasn't their best angle. I mean, Sunny Boy, uh, rest in peace, man. Uh, but the club are there. They are saying that you know, no matter if. Uh, AJ Styles is not with them anymore. The club is going to rule over SmackDown and over Raw. <laughs> um, Finn Balor uh, isn't really part of the club. I mean, his Titan Tron is Balor Club worldwide, but you can see that uh, the whole lettering was removed from his uh, his leather jacket. Um, so yeah, I don't really know. Um, but but as um oh yeah there is there was also uh curtis axel who is mr Irre irrelevant you know be a star and all that <laughs> because he was the last the last pick uh and he got destroyed by adrian neville who got a mild reaction when he came back but it got better when he won with the red arrow because it's the fucking red arrow how can you not be hyped for that um yeah so that probably only leaves the main event. Yeah, the main event. What a wonderful match. Um, Roman Reigns just put a fucking... Uh, Roman Reigns and Finn Balor put on a fucking classic. Um, Finn Balor won at the end. So he's going to SummerSlam to face um, Seth Rollins for the WWE Universal title. Uh, I guess the design will be revealed, you know, in the last row before uh, SummerSlam or on the very night. I don't know. I'm I'm a bit afraid of the of uh, what they're going to show as the design for that belt. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so yeah. Um, but it was a great match, um, despite the fact that Roman Reigns really, you know, he. He he did some some abuse with the uh, with the Superman punch. Like he f if that were Pokemon, he would have run out of action points to do the to do the the move. Uh, he tried. There's probably like twenty 
uh, Superman punches between the fatal four way and the solo match, the team balls match. That's that's way too much. Um, Bustia, uh, you thought that you know at the <coughs> end, at the end, uh, Finn was like he he was going to eat the spear, but no, he countered it with the fucking sling blade. Oh, and then the the he he made he did the the drop kick and you know and then Roman was on his back and the coup de grace I refuse to call that the coup de grace it's fucking dumb pronunciation it means fat shot it doesn't mean killing shot um, <laughs> so yeah he won with the coup de grace you know it's like the me the Pele kick Pele didn't do and uh, didn't shot at the goal didn't shoot at the goal like that that's that's dumb uh, the 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 fifties and the sixties and the early seventies that that wasn't really what football was all about, um, especially with the heavy as balls. Uh, so yeah, I'm getting a bit sidetracked. Um, yeah, still, uh, wonderful match. Props to both of them. Roman wants to face uh, wants uh, Finn to win against Seth so he can face him again, and I'm really glad for that because. You know, you need to be t two to make to create a a great a great match. And uh, props to the both of them for for Finn to you know coming from NXT to really the top in one night, and um, for Roman Reigns to you know putting over someone and making him look like a fucking million dollars. Um, so yeah, uh, Raw is gonna uh, SmackDown is gonna start not very long now. Yeah, I'm. I'll see. Um. Anyway, what can I, I mean? I can. I have really nothing to talk about. I'm just tired of the, the the couple shenanigans with uh, my sister and her, and my brother-in-law. Um. Uh, I, at this point, I just kind of wish that I mo would move out. You know, cannot come soon enough because once I move out, at least there will be nothing about you know keeping my bedroom clear because. Well, all the shit that is stacked there, I will be able to properly p put it all over my apartment. That would that will be great. Want it? I really hope. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye. -bye.